I think I was born with anxiety, um, to be honest. I used to take a lot of time off school. I was brought up by my grandmother. My dad was 18 when I was born. My mum was only 16, and my mum was the first person to leave when I was a year old. And I was 24, and my dad took his own life. And it wasn't until years later when I did, I did a documentary for the BBC, yeah. and I had a conversation with my nan. It's, it's weird that this happened for the first time on camera, but we spoke about it properly and I broke down, and I was petrified, and it scared me. People are gonna see me at my most vulnerable in a way that I don't often see myself. But that conversation changed everything, because from that point, everything was out in the open, and I was able to then talk to my friends about it, because my friends had watched the programme. Well, a turn for you. I, I knew that something's not right for a long time, and I ran away from it. This is not me, this is not happening. And I yeah. bumbled on for a little bit, and then started, you know, living differently. I, you know, I, I probably started to drink too much and I tried to escape or ev how I was feeling. And then I did this documentary like you did. I spoke to Ricky Atten about this and I spoke to Neil Lennon and Graham Dot, the snooker player. And I was listening to him identifying, thinking, you know, I, I've been, through, I've been that. through that. And actually, Ricky Atten, you've gone through this. You're probably one of the hardest people I know. Yeah. But you can talk about it. Yeah. But then I started thinking, if I start talking about this, talking about problems, one, the people who followed me through my career, they're going to turn their backs on me because they think I'm one thing. Everyone's going to think of me differently. Did that happen? No. <laughs> it, it, it was the complete opposite. Yeah. It was like people come up to me and say, like, wow. And then they'd start telling me about their feel. And then even I'd like mates who I'd never think about. We, we get in a conversation. And we never had done conversations. It's, it's a wait, different wait, relationship. It becomes yeah. more honest, doesn't it? Yeah. But then sometimes, you know when you have that conversation with someone and you do engage with what you're talking about yeah. and you do unload everything and it's always, for me, it's never planned. It always just comes out at a yeah. random time but the feeling of relief afterwards, it does feel like a, a weight's lifted, doesn't it? Yeah, but the hardest thing for me initially was talking. Mm. I'm not a big talker. Yeah. I don't talk about, I'm from Especially the north of England. Dave. Exactly, I'm from, <laughs> I'm from the north of England, I'm from a working class family, we don't talk about our feelings. Yeah, it was no different for me, going up in a council yeah. estate in East London, yeah. it's just not something you, so you, you spoke you, about. To me it seems a shame that it's taken us all of these years to be able to be open and to be vocal yeah. about things. And it's crazy what it opens up, doesn't it? And yeah. it just comes from being vocal. Yeah, that you're... one time, it's definitely made me a happier person. I have. I have less downs and, and more ups with being honest about how I feel.